Tonight, I've been drinking hot toddies. It's also a little mini birthday for the new MotherLodge.com. They asked me, do we want to put it on a mailing list to MotherLodge.com? But no, we want you to go to the site. Right there in the top in a bar. Like many bars you walk into late at night. It's going to say, give me your email. Hit submit. We're not a submitting people nowadays, but I ask you this one time. To submit. Submit your email address to MotorLodge.com. You'll find out about shows like this. You'll find out what we're doing on the site. You can tweet us. You can burn us. You can put us on your face. All right, all right JB. JB, Book. JB that's, that's great. And I, and I love the flyers. Yeah. You know, but I thought you were going to do a poem or some shit. Oh, well, I, I thought I was going to talk about... about this is not what I'm going to talk about. Like, you can donate at MotorLodge.com. I mean, we can talk about that off mic. Off but, mic, yeah. But on mic, you don't want me to tell me to go to the site, and donate to one large to help us get our. I want you to do what you have to do because that's what I want you to do, and it's. it's All right, I, I won't. No, we won't talk about donating to motorlodge.com on the site at the very top of the site under donate to help us keep programs like this alive. Instead, what I'll tell you is about how all this started. Ray said, "I want you to come to New York. I want you to perform in Brooklyn." I was like, yeah. Because New York, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. At least that's what Jay-Z said, some guy named Sinatra said. And I believe Jay-Z. So I grabbed my travel companion and I said, we're going to New York. Because if we can make it there, we can make it anywhere. And I wasn't going to be a tourist. I wasn't going to hop some cab or some limo. No, I was going to take trains and buses from New Jersey to Brooklyn, just like they do in New York. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Before I found out about the trains, before I found out my date packs 500 pounds of luggage for a five-night stay, but we tried it. We grabbed our suitcases and we got on the plane. Cut down in Jersey, picked up the suitcases, six of them. Six. The first train was fine. It was in Jersey. It was a simple little hop with the cab. We were on it. We were going fine. We were feeling like New Yorkers. Yes, damn it. I can make it here. I can make it anywhere. We were on our way. Through New Jersey. Over the water. Into the hollow show. The World Trade Center. Where trains still run on time. 24 hours a day. And we took our bags. Six of them. And left that train. And then we found steps. Lots and lots of steps. Oh my God, that's a whole bunch of steps. And the blonde starts to get mad and like, thanks for carrying my bags, but we got six of them. And I only had two hands. But we made it up the steps. One suitcase falls, the wheel hanging off like a JFK head wound just flapping in the air. But we're not tourists. We can make it there. We can make it anywhere. Train number two. Little train. It said get off at the Atlantic Pacific Station. There is no Atlantic Pacific Station. There is an Atlantic Station and a Pacific Station. And if you're from New York, you know you take a tunnel and an elevator to get to one or the other. We were not from New York. We weren't going to make it there. We weren't going to make it anywhere. Instead, it went like this. One set of flight, over, down, through, through a turnstile, back in, can't let us in. People were laughing at us, down, up. Another flight of stairs, another flight of stairs, another flight of stairs. There goes.
goes the third piece of luggage just flapping around in the air. We got six pieces of luggage and five wheels. And we're gonna carry on. Down the hall, up the stairs, down the stairs, through the turnstile. Oh shit, we're out. Back in, we let us in. We're from Kentucky. Yes, you are. Let us in. Girlfriend wearing sunglasses underground to cover the tears streaming down her face. Don't look at me. Just don't fucking look at me. Get me on the train. Get me on the train. Get me on a train. There's a train. Train number three. We got on it. It looked like the right train. They all looked the same. We stayed on it. Watching the map. Here's where we need to be. Here's where we're going. Here's where we need to be. Here's where we're going. Here's where we need to be. Here's where we're going. And she yells, stop! Get me off this train, she said. So we got off the train. Six pieces of luggage. Two wheels. She stood at the top. Luggage at the bottom. 22 steps. I counted them. Do, do, do. Luggage one. Do, 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 do. Luggage two. Do, 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 do. Luggage three. Six pieces of luggage, one wheel. Finally, all the luggage came up. We're going to hail a cab. And I looked around. We had made it there. Somewhere in Brooklyn. At the corner of Carlitos Way in New Jack City. An Easter gift to everyone around. Two white people, six pieces of luggage, all on a corner, free for your taking. Where's a cab? Cop car, cop car, cop car, cab. Cop car, cop car, cop car, cab. A guy comes across. I drive a cab. Your car doesn't look like a cab. It's a cab. It doesn't look like a cab. It's a cab. Let me put your stuff in your trunk. Fuck no! He drove away. Finally a cab shows up. We're gonna make it there. We're gonna make it anywhere. We load six pieces of luggage, no wheels, into the back of the cab. Get in. Where are you going? Union Street. Where's that? <laughs> to be a Brooklyn cab driver, you do not know how to know New York geography. So we drove, and we drove, and we drove, and we drove. We were gonna save money taking the trains. Forty dollars. Twelve wheels. And a sprained shoulder and arm and soul later. We reached our point. We were in New York. We made it there. But I don't know how we're going to make it anywhere else. Thank you.